Hello Pisces, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope this video finds you well. I hope that you are all healthy and I'm sending very positive energy your way. Um, there have been some really uncertain, there's been a lot of uncertainty and doubt and fear. Um, so thank you for joining me. I hope that this video provides some sort of serenity or just company. So today's video is gonna be your reading, it'll be a general love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, so it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. Feel free to check out your other videos for more messages. I'm sorry, your other placements for more messages. Um, sometimes your other placements can resonate more. So I'm going to do a new spread today, more simplified, but first I'm going to start with two Oracle decks. I've pre-shuffled these off camera, so I'll just split the decks here. So let's see what energies we have for you in regards to love, spirit. Messages you have for Pisces. In regards to love. Oh, we have woman holding a coin. This is very similar to Queen of Pentacles. So stability, security, commitment. What other messages do you have for Pisces? that again i don't know why but i do higher power beautiful so some of you are probably seeking spiritual guidance or being spiritually guided towards someone or someone's being guided towards you um it could be that a lot of you are using your intuition when it comes to the connections you're in or something like that where you are Possibly, especially now during these trying times, I feel like we do seek out a higher power. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Um, I love this energy though. Um, stability, security, commitment with spiritual guidance. Like it cannot get any better than that. All right, spirit. What messages do you have for Pisces? What messages do you have for Pisces, please? In regards to love, what does Pisces need to know? In regards to love. All right, Pisces, let's see what we have for you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces in regards to love? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed to the channel. Um, I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments and they're so overwhelmingly positive. I'm very grateful for your support. Whatever situation I talk about today, um, time is fluid, so it could have already happened be currently happening or happen in the near future and roles can be reversed so take it how it resonates you know feel free to flip the roles whoa hang on look at that ace of pentacles wheel of fortune wow King of Pentacles, wow, okay. One more, please. One more, please, for Pisces. Injustice. So this spread that I've, I'm trying, it's a little more simple. This is past energies, current energies, and near future energies, but I'm taking this spread as, I'm looking at this spread as a whole. Um, so what I'm noticing is there's some very powerful major arcanas here. We have Judgment, Wheel of Fortune, and Justice. We also have two kings here along with an Ace of Pentacles. So right away I'm thinking massive changes, like big changes, especially because we have the Wheel of Fortune here. With Justice, I feel like a situation will be made right or there will be a final decision that's being made to rebalance a situation here. Could be a Libra. Or someone with Libra in their chart that you're dealing with it doesn't have to be but with judgment like coming into the reading here I feel like this is very it's reminding me of this higher power um, so judgments all about an awakening a rebirth um, looking back at the past at your past decisions um, karma it's about a higher calling a judgment call um, so I'm going to clarify all of these to kind of get more 
um, messages, but what I'm thinking right away is that someone had some sort of awakening or wants to have a rebirth of some sort. Someone could have possibly learned from their mistakes. This could be you or the person that you're connecting with. Um, I see someone here who's thinking about love and commitment. This could be two people or it could be this person's energy. This could be you, Pisces, with the King of Cups here. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And then we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here with the King of Pentacles. So someone's making an offer, though, with the Ace of Pentacles. That I see very clearly. And there's been a change here, either a change in the situation, possibly because of this Ace of Pentacles, a change in emotion, a change in action. Um, someone, Something's changing in this connection. Um, something's going to be made right in the near future here. And you could be, again, dealing with two offers here or an offer from someone who has a lot of love for you, but also wants to provide stability, which, you know, again, we do have that woman holding a coin up there. So that does make sense to me. So let's clarify these energies and get some more insight. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Pisces, please, in regards to love. Spirit, please help me clarify these energies for Pisces in regards to love. All right, tell me about judgment, please. What's this judgment about? With judgment, Wheel of Fortune and Justice, like I cannot stress it enough, there's huge changes happening. So the Two of Cups just came out with the world holy jeez anything else okay wow well there's the queen of pentacles coming out along with two of cups and the world so this is clarifying judgment so right away what i'm thinking is someone's making either a judgment call or wanting a new beginning with their two of cups here because we have the world. The world's all about ending a cycle to begin a new one. Um, and so with judgment, it's like someone's definitely putting an end to something to have a rebirth. An awakening here has happened. Um, they're making a judgment call, possibly for a second chance or wanting to have a just like a do over just in general. Like someone wants to learn from all their past mistakes in love and they want to try again. A new cycle but much better um, but I see the two of cups here so that tells me that there's already a powerful connection here um, someone definitely wants stability here with the Queen of Pentacles they want long term they want security this could be you or this other person um, they could be viewing you as a Queen of Pentacles energy or it could be an earth sign that wants to make this happen but with the world, there's a new cycle beginning, and I think it's going to be a new cycle either in your current situation, in your current connection, or a new cycle where there's going to be new love coming into your life. But I really am getting that someone, for, for, for some of you, there's going to be someone that's coming back around to make a situation right with justice. And, um, you know, because I have the world in judgment here, so... I do get that sense that that's what that person wants to do. So tell me about this. Tell me about this King of Cups, please. This is someone that is very emotionally mature, has a lot of emotions. Yeah, look at this. So this Queen of Cups wants Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> they want to bring you this offer. I think this Queen, King of Cups is the one bringing you this Ace of Pentacles. Um, they're being really methodical about it. They're really thinking about how to make this happen taking their time because they're thinking about long-term stability with you possibly because that's all you're interested in is long-term stability oh interesting i have the knight of cups under the deck there tell me about this ace of pentacles for pisces please this is a very stable offer an offer you can hold in your hand so i mean usually it, it ref refers to material um Oh, wow. So we have the Three of Cups. So this Ace of Pentacles could be something like someone proposing, someone asking you to move in. Um, 
you know, someone asking, oh my gosh, what is happening with my cards? Okay, so I'm just going to take the ones that flipped over. There's judgment again. So clarifying the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Three of Cups. So again, I am getting that sense that for a lot of you, this is going to be a reunion of some sort. There's the Queen of Cups. King of Cups wants his Queen of Cups is what I'm seeing here. Um, this, you know, Three of Cups is about coming together, but it could also be a proposal as well, an engagement party here. Um, a celebration. There could be a celebration based off of this offer being made. Someone's going to be very happy with this offer. Could be another water sign. Doesn't have to be what I'm seeing. There is a lot of love, a lot of affection for this other person. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. So when the Wheel of Fortune changes or when the Wheel of Fortune is in motion, um, nothing remains the same. It is the divine stepping in, higher power, the divine stepping in to turn the wheel. And it's done It's in divine timing, and it's basically faded, right? So it's, this could be something that's been faded, something that has always was always meant to happen. Um, it could bring you lots of luck, good fortune, and it usually turns in your favor. And you have the justice card right next to that. So I'm really getting that whatever this Wheel of Fortune is for, it's going to be in your favor. Something that you've been wanting. Yeah, we got Six of Pentacles and the Moon. So there you are, Pisces. Rebalancing of a situation with the Six of Pentacles. I feel like the wheel is turning to set things right. There might be some fear or doubt or just a what do I do now type of moment once this wheel is in motion um, because change is always it's not always easy change can be difficult but at you know if the divine's evolved it's necessary it's necessary to bring you something that is balanced and fair to you tell me about this king of Pentacles okay at the four of pentacles so far anything else for this king of pentacles so what's the king of pentacles here oh oh wow yeah we got the tower so again i am really getting the sense pisces that there's going to be some serious changes coming your way have the Queen of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. I feel like someone might be holding back here. Um, I see this in a few ways. Um, I feel like someone is going to have some sort of financial struggle because they're going from a King of Pent. I have a King of Pentacles and a Four of Pentacles here. Four of Pentacles is usually someone who is very frugal, um, holding tightly to what they have um trying to be careful um so it could be that this tower you know this king of pentacles is taken down a couple pegs because of what this tower brings um it could be that someone also is being forced to speak up with the queen of swords there um, it's like almost like this tower is bringing truth and logic to a situation and whatever someone has been holding on to is they're going to have to let go is what I'm seeing here with the four of pentacles due to this tower. Someone could be cutting off some sort of relationship where they've held tightly to this stability, um, but maybe it wasn't the best relationship in other ways. Um, so this tower allows someone to cut that out with the Queen of Swords. So this could be interpreted a few different ways. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to see if I can get more messages about this Queen of Swords. Spirit, tell me more about this Queen of Swords. Sign of um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The Chariot. Sign of Cancer there. Anything else for this Queen of Swords, please? 
Queen of Swords, she's, she has a tough exterior. She, she, she's not here to play around. She is here to get things done. Six of Cups. So what I'm seeing is that this, this tower allows someone to communicate rationally that they want to move forward on a connection. Someone here wants to move forward on a either a past life connection or a past connection here with the Six of Cups. Um, and someone wants victory here. And it's going to start with whatever this Queen of Swords energy is going to do. Um, I feel like they, they, Queen of Swords, they are great communicators. They get right down to the truth. They're interested in the truth and information. And so this Queen of Swords might be finally opening up because this Four of Pentacles could be somebody that is holding on tightly to and not speaking, not moving. Um, so someone could have been holding back feelings and this tower moment is going to come in and um, possibly humble someone or force someone to speak about their true intentions. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice. There's going to be either a final decision or this is everything being made right or be rebalanced in your favor. Could also be a legal decision of some sort or an official decision of some sort through the court system or something like that. Wow, nine of cups, 10 of cups. Wow, wish fulfillment. Someone's wish fulfillment is gonna be, I mean, there's emotional, this is all about emotional fulfillment. I feel like whatever decision is made here is gonna bring you emotional fulfillment. Happiness, family, love. Give me one more for justice, please. That's way too many. Give me one more for justice, please. What's justice about, Spirit? Can you tell me more about justice? I feel like whatever decision is made, I, I, someone's going to be very happy. Someone's going to feel satisfied, content. Um, and it's because this wheel of fortune, this tower, this world, um, this cycle that is ending is going to bring about finally stability. So I have here the page of wands. So yeah, I feel like there's going to be some sort of message coming in here from about a situation being made right, about a situation coming out in your favor, about an answer to a wish that you've wanted or something that you maybe have asked spirit with the higher power card here. And I feel like it's gonna be everything you've wanted, Pisces. Whatever this is, it could be someone proposing, like I said, this solid offer I feel like is connected to this Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. I mean, these are amazing cards. If you're look, if you're thinking about a connection progressing to the next step, it's here. If you're thinking about new love coming in, definitely I see that as well. Whoever's bringing you this Ace of Pentacles, they've really been thinking about it. And it's probably been a long time coming, but it's here and it's going to be like completely fulfilling for you in all ways. So I think that's very exciting and um, I feel like you've earned it. So yeah, I, I love this reading. It just was so perfect. So thank you so much for spending time with me. Thank you so much for checking out this video and I hope it resonated with some of you. If it did, please hit the like button. Please leave me a comment and let me know. I love reading your comments. Um, once again, I send a lot of peace and love and just you know, serenity your way. Um, I know these are very trying times, but we're all going to get through this together. So yeah, I'll leave it there. Thank you again, Pisces and take care.